Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at Star Crazy. This is a project we covered a while ago for its low entry cost. It looks pretty good. And one of the biggest unique features about this project is that it's 100% community driven. 100% of the tokens in this planet sale, which we're gonna be talking about, is going to be burned. So that's just gonna add value to the GFS tokens that you might be holding. So let's get into today's episode. This is sponsored, so if you wanna get involved in the watch to earn content, a chance to win five lots of $60 USDT sent to 500 people after three days. Just do the usual, post in the comment section down below anything you like, go to Discord, post in the competition wallet section your wallet address and your YouTube name, and you'll have a chance to be selected for that. Right, so the Planet Land Grab is here. January the 18th will be fully in the grips of Planet Auctions, Gravitational Field, don't even try to fight it. We hope you've been saving your GFS for this big day. That's when you can be among the first to own some prime galactic real estate. So we're going to talk about that in a bit, exactly what you can expect from this. But the game itself is very much, uh, somebody asked me the question, are there any games that you can just passively stake your NFTs? This is one of them. Um, so as you can see on my Elgato now, just playing through my mobile device, uh, you're able to, I had these NFTs that I've, that I've acquired. I have a little Santa one as well that I got for Christmas. A little special one. It's pretty cool. Um, and you can you can fuse your two together to give you a better output in terms of the uh, GFT that you earn. And you can use that GFT to put purchase more and you can synthesize more. We have the Star Mine, which I'm currently staking. I have these dispatched. I just recently claimed about I've got 1.2 in my wallet now. So if you want to know how to set up on this, uh, as I say, it's on the mobile device. It's all, I, I think the I, I pay is really good in the fact that I, I hate, I put a tweet out a while ago saying I hate logging in via a QR code. It's annoying because you have to go up to your computer and you might as well be playing on your computer at that point. Uh, here it's linked to the IAPay wallet. So it's all on, it uses IATEX and GFT in this game. And it's just a, you know, I just thumbprint logs me in and I'm away and I can play through the IAPay app. So if you want to know exactly how to get all your stuff onto this, ready for this game, uh, download IAPay, transfer money over to the iotex network uh everything is in the last video that i do i put a link to that in the description below so you can go check that out but i will say again uh people had difficulty getting iotex that's iotx token into their wallet to be able to just make that initial transfer to be able to buy uh gft if you have any difficulties same offer goes again just drop me an email let me know that you if you need some iotx token and i'll just send one across to you that's all you'll need for gas fees really really cheap gas fees on this network which is always a plus so as you can see there i sent one iotx to loads of different people um just to help them out so same applies on this one so start crazy what have we got in terms of this sale coming January the 18th, they'll be in full grip. So there'll be Planet Auction. I hope you've been saving the GF GFS token. The Game Fantasy token, token is the token that you can use to purchase things on the market. $11.21 is what it's currently listed at. So if we take a look over, over time, it's remained fairly high. I mean, over a 90 day period, it has reached all time highs of $30. But if we take a look, you know, since October, it's remained fairly stable. It's only coming down a little bit in this bear market. And has a market cap of 10 million. You can pick some of this token up if you want to be able to get involved in the auction. Or you might be holding some. So they have a little, a little trailer out for Star Crazy's planet sale. Welcome to the Star Crazy universe. Where you choose your own adventure, like the little chicken. So there's going to be different, a variety of different planets with different traits in terms of the, you know, there'll be rock, there'll be food, there'll be toxic. And these are going to give you benefits depending on your, your NFTs. You can mine on other planets and you can also host battles. So other people will be able to come to your planet and battle. Got a little arena here. So we've got a little Hawaiian chill guy just chilling. And then realize, oh, oh, 
look where I am in an arena. And then business guy comes out with the chicken. <laughs> Ready to fight. So, when can you expect it? How do you join in? The auction will take place on the Star Crazy app. In total, 100 planets out of a total of 960 will be released throughout the day. All the DFS spent in the auction will be burned. That's what I really love about this. The fact that they are not, no, none of the monies from the sales goes to the developers. And this is really good for the community. So, you know, with Theta Arena, you know, I love it, but they, they, obviously they, have been very the the THS didn't just get burnt THC sorry it didn't just get burnt they then switched it and decided all right we're not going to burn it we're going to have this pool that you can get it and we're going to buy back THG and they changed it all and that led to a lot of, a lot of you know like low confidence in the project from some people whereas with this you know you get a hundred percent burn no money's even going to the developers just a hundred percent burn and that is going to mean that when DFS is burned, it's going to directly benefit the community. So anybody who's been earning the syrup pool will gain more. So if you don't get involved in the auction, because GFS will to token is burnt, it's going to increase the value of those tokens because it's reduced circulation. So whether you buy a planet or you keep staking, it's a win-win for all players. And because of 100% is GFS supply is player owned. As people are battling for planets in the auction, the total supply of GFS will shrink. The large owners will reduce their supply and might win a planet, while everyone owning GFS gets to benefit from the reduced GFS in the syrup pool. That's what they call a fair and balanced ecosystem. What are the benefits to owning a planet then? So the short answer is you'll be able to host your own battles, as we mentioned, set up your own mines and planets you own and planets you own. That can provide you with a steady source of income for you in your old age and give you something to leave your heirs. I mean, like in 80 years, who knows how much these things are gonna be worth. There are six planets available. So there's the fire type planet, rock type, grass type, water type, toxic type, and food type. I like the look of the grass one. It looks well cool. Um, tastiest, obviously food type. Um, each planet's property, that is fire, rock, grass, etc., has battle properties that can give you an advantage, be neutral or be a disadvantage in battle. You'll have an advantage if the stars you put in play match the type of planet where the battle takes place. So fire against fire is gonna be neutral. Fire against water has a minus one for fire. The attack value is reduced. Fire against grass will have plus one fire. The attack value is increased. Against rock, it will have plus one and the, the attacks increased and against candy it's neutral the illustration below obviously shows the different type effects what's strong versus what what's weak versus what as well uh, there's more planets each planet is a one-of-a-kind original work of nft art so when you buy something you have something truly special this gives you an amazing collectible that can be rewarding financially in the future it's akin to investing in the future but instead of buying a tv you're getting a planet and you'll be able to resell a planet at Star Crazy Marketplace. So if you've bought it, you can always sell it if you've had a change of heart. So keep saving those GFS tokens coming for the planet auction on January the 18th. And if you haven't already learned about it, you can check out the syrup pool and how to access that via this link as well. If you want to know the beginner's guide to how to play this game, what you're looking for on the marketplace, then there's a really good YouTube video out there. It's a 101 beginner's guide of how to play this game. That is available, um, I'll put that in the description below. It's the 101 of Star Crazy. Now with a game that is 100% player owned, you know, everything's distributed among the players, you can expect this does have a very loyal and engaged community. They are now at over 1,000 per day daily active users and it's been out for two months, they're seeing steady growth. It's one of the most generous fair distributions of revenue of any play to earn game. And that, that, that's fact, that is, that is fact. 100% you don't see that in, in in any games. It's very low cost to start. So, you know, we're talking about 10 to $20 entry price. It's got super low transaction fees because it is on the ITX blockchain. So there's a lot of positives about this project if you're looking for something to get in, but don't have a huge amount of funds to be able to start. You can check out more information on the GFS syrup pool distribution here in this article. Again, I'll put this in the description below. So you can see the, understand the token distribution, how they've got 30% goes to play to earn rewards, 30% is for the GFS bonus, 20% is burn, development get 20% because obviously they need something to be able to tide them over to be able to keep continuing putting out content on this project. So here you can see exactly how the transaction flow for the official market works within the pool. So you've got price sell 10 gft player purchase monkey for 10 gft on the official market 10 gft is collected as tax community share 100 20 percent gain development 
20% goes to token burn, play to earn and battle pool gets 30% and GFS syrup pool gets 30%. The pool of fees that is mined by anyone staking GFS is in star mine and you can stake GFS tokens in star crazies star mine. You can participate by following all these actions and you can see what, exactly what's going on with the burn in October. So they had a bit of burn when they burned $330,000 worth of GFT. So you can see the syrup pool up here in the top left. You can use the LP mining, so IOTX and GFT LP. You can stake that and you will earn GFS from that. Then you can harvest it, go to the syrup pool and start staking your GFS. And in return, you get the GFT token. So it's a way of getting more from what you already own. Now remember that whilst there is passive mining going on in the game, there is going to be PvP. They estimate it's coming Q1 or 22, possibly within the next few months. So look out for that and maybe holding these things for when that actually comes out. They have done flash sales before where they've sold some of these stars and maybe like rare types that don't have any dig power, but do have purpose when PvP comes out. So keep your eye on th things like that. Follow their social media to still keep up to date with any changes. Their roadmap is as follows. They do have the listing of GFT planned for central exchanges in Q2. As I mentioned, Q1, we've got PvP, Battle Arena launching. Q3 will be future gameplay, big updates, and Q4 governance, GFS, DAO. Now, we have looked at a lot of games that have done this up and down but have absolutely tanked. You know, losing 50% from the all-time high is nothing compared to what a lot of projects have lost during this bear market. And they've continued playing out rewards, you know, from a long period of October through to November, and then it hasn't shifted too much. I think this is a good example of what economies need to be built like to have a good level of stability. And throughout this period, you know, there's been staking um, but we haven't had any major updates and that's where planet sales come in. I think that could have a big impact on, on price. The economy could benefit greatly from that. And then we also have the uh, PvP coming, which will likely have an even more positive impact. It will put more pressure on people to buy off the market to get certain ones that they want to be able to battle with, especially if you're in a planet and you want to host battles. I think this could have a lot of potential in the future. I think also when you compare it to other tokens during this bear market, I mean, like, you know, Bitcoin has gone down anyway. So, and that's not paying out any play to earn rewards. But the GFT token, people have been earning from this token. And yet you haven't seen a huge, huge dip in this price at this, whilst it's paying out rewards and during a bear market. So I had every confidence covering this project again. Okay, well, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Go check it out. Go check out the previous video if you want to get a good understanding of how to access this game. Check out that 101 video. That's really good, you know, start to finish beginner's guide of how to get involved in this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon. Thank you.